Hey, good morning. Welcome to New Shores Prepping. Well, this is the day after the attempted assassination of President Trump, and there are so many questions I have, as well as many others, and these are common questions, but I'm going to take a different tact on it. You have to ask yourself, how did a shooter get on top of a rooftop in a clear line of Trump and get off three, four rounds, five, before taking out? How did he get there? 150 yards? How did he get there? Who got bought off to turn the other way? Who got bought off to allow a shooter to get in there? We've seen this in Hollywood movies, I don't know how many, countless times. Somebody looks the other way. Who got paid off? I want a full investigation, as does America. And I'm sure Trump is also looking forward to it. Then you have to ask yourself, wait a minute. The FBI is in charge of the investigation and the attempted assassination of Trump. Let me see. How is that going to work? This is the same FBI that tried to have Trump drummed out of office in a political coup with Russian delusion backing the lie. This is the same FBI that had three or four agents dismissed for lying to Congress and colluding to overthrow the government in a coup. This is the same FBI that has uh, rehired the same people and given them back pay back to them after they were fired in the collusion. This is the same FBI that had a lawyer create false evidence, submit it, and then the Department of Justice gives him a slap on the wrist as part of his punishment, a lawyer creating false evidence. This is the same FBI that can't find a pipe bomber, yet makes a statement, well, the people that are defacing pro-life establishments, it happens at night and we can't make out their faces. However, this is the same FBI that is still persecuting <coughs> pardon me, and prosecuting peaceful protesters on January 6th. This is the same FBI that Christopher Wray is so false as a leader, he should be immediately fired as well as the top echelon of, of the FBI and purged. It's sickening. You have the CIA also who is backing Biden politically and doing everything possible to hide the Hunter Biden laptop and saying it's Russian disinformation, which they knew perfectly well it wasn't. This is the same CIA with 31 previous directors saying it's Russian disinformation regarding the Hunter Biden laptop to cover for Biden. And we are expecting to have them chime in and say, we don't know what happened. You notice how fast they found this guy's information. He was on social media. It doesn't take much to find you if they want to. But keep in mind, this is the same people that colluded on January 6th with police officers waving people in on video. This isn't, a, this isn't imaginary. You have police officers waving people into the Capitol building, having conversations with them, giving them guided tours, and setting up these people for imprisonment. This is the same FBI, the same deep state, setting up Trump to be assassinated. And don't think for one minute it's a conspiracy theory. It's not. One month ago, I posted they must terminate Trump. And they just did. And gratefully, happily, it failed. We are not coming back from this. The division and bitterness and hatred has just grown a mile wide deeper. Let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. The field director for Benny Thompson, 
the infamous Benny Thompson, the card-carrying communist, and I'm not making that up, he went to Cuba at least 25 times during the 70s and 80s as an elected congressman, personally shaking hands with Fidel Castro, personally bringing back Cuban medical students back to the country so they could teach how to overthrow local communities and create instability through the Marxist way. The field director for Benny Thompson posted on X wishes the shooter had better aim. This is a representative of a sitting congressman. Why isn't he fired immediately? Never mind deleting the post, it's already too late. Why isn't that man fired immediately? Why isn't Benny Thompson posting a denunciation of this man's thinking and firing him immediately and offering his apologies? He won't. He may denounce it. Why isn't any of that happening? Why aren't the, why aren't the Republicans demanding Thompson, fire this guy immediately because they're gutless wonders. That's why. The Democrats have been at war with America, with the Republicans, with conservatives, and the Constitution for years, for years, and nothing has ever happened until this incident where Biden has said, it's time to put a bullseye on Trump, and look what happens. Did he apologize for that? No. Did the news media get after Biden for saying that? You see that on other medias where, you know, the former governor of Alaska, their name escapes him, made an ad like that, and they're saying, oh, she's making threats against She's making threats against Obama. She should be thrown off the airwaves. She should be silenced. She should be removed. Yet Biden says the exact same thing and nothing's happened. The people who want to overthrow America, the new world order, the billionaires, the satanic worshiping billionaires have spent their money time and effort to achieve the New World Agenda 2030. Don't shake your head and say this is a conspiracy theory. It's not. Look at all the people lining up to overthrow America, aligning themselves with our enemies, bribing people to flood this country with illegal immigrants that do not hold our values, do not assimilate, and don't care to because they want to control them and us. They want to eliminate us. The destruction implemented in our schools, critical race theory, DEI in our military, all of these are designed to destroy America and it is in effect right now. Trump set them back four years and billions of dollars, and they, they cannot and will not allow that to happen again. All along X, you have lunatics saying, how could they miss a big orange target? Why didn't the guy take shooting lessons? It's a scam. Trump set up his a fake attempted assassination and, you know, to get more votes. Meanwhile, we know one person is dead, several others injured, and that, and that lunatic is saying it's fake. Sometimes this is one of them, that censorship to, should take effect and remove these people and, and uh, suspend their accounts. Why isn't that happening? Oh, I forgot. It's only conservative, rational, reasonable people that it happens to when you dispute the plague and the results. Censorship is full, full swing and in effect. They've got stuff set. Censorship 
So you can't talk to one another. We know the news networks are in full propaganda mode in collusion with this government, including Biden, but now it's been revealed because he made such a bumbling f mess of stuff during the debate. They've exposed themselves for the liars they are, covering up the great lie. Biden's incompetency, which I said three years ago. Oh, when did this happen? The king has no clothes. He's actually, he's actually has dementia. He's actually ill. He can't put two sentences together unless they inject him full of Adderall. Suddenly now it's an open and they have to cover their asses with the lie they've been perpetrating on the public. People have been bought off. Incompetency of the Secret Service, the director, she needs to be held accountable immediately and forced to resign or fired immediately. Benny Thompson proposed a law removing Trump's Secret Service because he got convicted in the Kangaroo Court of New York and says he shouldn't be entitled to any, a convicted felon shouldn't be entitled to any Secret Service protection. This is these people in Congress thinking. Trump deranged, derangement syndrome is in full effect. My next guess, now that the assassin assassination attempt has failed, my next guess as to what the Democrats and the lunatics are going to be up to, one, you have the Republican convention. I wouldn't go anywhere near that. Inside or out, you have two divisions of Chinese military-aged men here you have unknown terrorists on the wanted list roaming about America. How difficult would it be for one or two Islamists to clack off a suicide vest and kill how many hundreds outside the Republican convention? That's one scenario that is approaching very quickly. Second scenario would be to plunge America into a blackout, sabotage the power grids, the incompetent fool declares martial law and suspends the election so they can stay in power, and that's what this is all about. Staying in power, destroying America, preparing the way for the Antichrist, because when America falls, so will Israel, and so will our allies, which have already been corrupted through mass immigration. England is not the same jolly old England it used to be. And look at France. It's Marxist versus communist, socialist versus conservatives. It's divided. Half of Paris is a no-go zone for people that are not of the Islam faith. So plunging us into darkness, creating chaos, suspending our First Amendment rights, our Second Amendment rights, is a very real possibility because these people that are actually running the country, and it isn't Biden, it's Obama and his retreads in the Obama, in the Biden administration, plunging us into darkness and having martial law declared is a real possibility. The third very real possibility is plunging us into World War III because they keep prodding Russia and crossing their red lines. And now by saying, okay, F-16s will be provided to Ukraine, fully trained and available for them to use. Let me ask you something here. How tough would it be for a Ukrainian pilot to fly, say, over Russia territory and bomb them, or even fly to Moscow, turn over the plane for riches. I wouldn't trust the Ukrainians with that. They're so corrupt. No. But what could possibly go wrong? They shoot a few missiles towards Moscow or other major Russian cities. 
Putin says, you provided the planes, you provided the training, you provided the weaponry. We're at war, so let's have at it. In the meantime, Trump has recovered, thank goodness. Will he be back on the campaign trail? I fully expect he will. After a complete review of the Secret Service and changes made, but he doesn't have the authority to do that. If I was President Trump, I would have my own Secret Service inside and out, namely Mossad agents that can be trusted and private security working with the outer Secret Service perimeters. Absolutely. The Trump family no longer on the campaign trail. Protect them at all costs. You can't get Trump, get his family. Get his son. We don't... The liberal left is probably saying, well, if we can't get Trump, we'll prevent another Trump from taking office as son. That's how sick these people are. It is an extremely, extremely dangerous time here in America. I said that a month ago. Trump said it after that, and I echoed him. Now is the time. Not yesterday, not tomorrow. Today is the time you start saying, okay, I see what's going on now, and I have to step up my preparations. Food, self-defense weapons, helmets, gas masks, hard cash money, silver, gold, or cash in hand. Not that cash will be worth anything. Food, long term. And you get yourself right with God. You ask for repentance of your sins. You apologize for your deeds. You get yourself right with God. Strive to be holy as told in the scriptures. And you get baptized, submerged in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for liking and subscribing. It is extremely scary times, friends. Greg out.